So you signed up for your first Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournament as a white belt and you want to know what to expect. The thing about white belt tournaments in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is that this is the division that has the largest skill disparity of all the divisions. When you are in the white belt division, you could have anywhere from someone who's been training a couple weeks to a month to someone who not only has wrestled for a few years, but is a four stripe white belt and is really experienced. And this can be super intimidating for people going into the first tournament and they want to know what to expect. First of all, most people expect that they need to have a game plan that they should show up and know exactly what they're going to do. Here's the problem with that. Oftentimes you'll go into a tournament with a game plan and as soon as you start grappling, the adrenaline hits, you start to get honestly a lot more worked up and nervous than you expected. And for me and a lot of other people, what can happen is you don't exactly black out and see red like people say, but the adrenaline is going and your game plan kind of goes out the window. My One of my first tournaments ever, I only remember what happened because someone was watching me and recording video. My coaches were yelling at me. I totally couldn't hear them. I just completely was in the moment, was super adrenaline dumped, and I was completely exhausted afterwards. So it's okay, and honestly, it's a good idea to have a plan, but more so than having a plan, you have to trust your ability to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So if you have at least one or two moves from every single position, one takedown or two takedowns, one or two guard passes, what to do from side control, both top and bottom, same with mount, same with back. So if you're in a bad position and you are just constantly working your escapes and your defenses, then that's pretty good. Oftentimes what will happen in a match is someone will be trying really hard to get the better position and as soon as they get the better position, the person on bottom had this big adrenaline dump and they're mentally defeated and they're sort of accepting like, oh, okay, I'm in this bad position and they lose and they lose because they are not continuing to fight to get back to that good position. The majority of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu matches at the white belt division are decided by who scores first. So if you're going to be someone who does a takedown and gets a takedown and you get those two points on the board, you're off to a great start. However, if you're someone who likes to pull guard, be very cautious that this is a position you're going to sweep from or submit from. It's not a terrible idea to pull guard and then immediately get two points off of a sweep, but if you pull guard on someone who's bigger than you and stronger than you, not only are you at a disadvantage because you pulled guard and some tournaments will count that as an advantage for the other person, but you can also be at a disadvantage if you're on the bottom and you're not able to get your game going. So what to expect is it's probably not going to go according to your plan. This doesn't mean you can't have a plan and this doesn't mean you shouldn't try really hard to get your moves to work, but this does mean that you should trust your moves. You shouldn't focus on having a very specific narrowly defined path. Just go out there and continually try to attack and be more aggressive. If you're the person who's more aggressive and it's even across the board, you're going to be the person who wins. Oftentimes matches will come down to ref decision. If no one really scores any points or gets any takedowns or you know maybe it's tied up 2-2, the ref is going to give the match to the person who is being more aggressive. And being aggressive can be kind of exhausting. One piece of advice that I always give people who are going into tournaments is you can never be too relaxed. I mean, it's technically possible to be too relaxed, but I have never been too relaxed going into a tournament. There's always some anxiety that comes up. There's always a little bit of nervousness, but I've certainly been too hyped up for tournaments. And when you're too hyped up for a tournament, that means you're going to go out there, you're going to spend all your energy, and you're going to get exhausted. And your game plan is going to go out the window. Not very good. So for your first ever white belt tournament, expect to be a little bit tired. Expect to have your grips burnt out a little bit. In order to mitigate this, you can try to bring yourself down, try to relax, try to calm down, trust your jujitsu. Now, don't expect to win, but don't expect that it's gonna go as bad as you think. A lot of people are worried about injuries and how it's gonna go if you know something goes wrong. And there's always a possibility of injuries, but that's true even on a regular training day. Chances are you're not gonna get injured. The refs are there to protect you. If you feel like you're in a bad spot, you should just give up and tap. And it's okay, it's, it's only a, a tournament, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. And where I see most injuries happen 
is where people get lost in the moment. They are trying to push through a submission that the other person has. They're gritting their teeth on an armbar or a kimura, and it just pops. And don't let that happen to you. So expect it to be exhausting. Expect to be a little bit nervous. Expect your game plan not to work, but expect to have fun anyways. One of the best parts about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tournaments is the atmosphere, is the camaraderie between you and your teammates, is the nervousness going in is actually the fun and relief that you feel after. The best part of a tournament is after your matches are already done because it's over. But you can't get to that point if you don't push through and do your matches. So don't overthink it, trust your Jiu Jitsu, Understand you're going to be nervous. Your game plan might not go exactly as you think, and that's okay. Trust your jiu-jitsu. Always, always, always be constantly progressing to get to a better position and to try to get a submission because that is what's going to get you the victory. And at the end of the day, it's always more fun to win than it is to lose, but it's okay if you lose. Have fun at your first ever white belt tournament. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, drop them down below.